You know, we've, we've talked, to, there's been a lot written about FEMA camps. I wrote about FEMA camps in 2011 um, because of um, the intern um, army asking for the civilian uh, specialty of, of securing, uh, that was a business insider, I'm sorry, uh, prison guard specialty securing uh, civilian detainees, all right? Um, and then an intern resettlement specialist, and that the Army has still um, asked for people that could be that. All right, so, so there are, and we've heard a lot of talk about FEMA camps for how long now? Um, so I asked him, you know, he, he mentioned the Alaskan um, camp. As we start getting into that conversation, I said, have you ever seen a FEMA camp? personally. And he said he has seen a lot of them. And they are all over the place. He told me in bases, they've been setting up uh, Katrina, you know those Katrina trailers that they had uh, after in New Orleans. Um, there are setups with those Katrina trailers all around. And he'll ask about them and they'll say, oh well, you know, we, we really haven't had don't know where to put them, so we're just setting them up here. Um, and he said, yes, there's absolutely uh, FEMA camps. And he actually called them concentration camps. And he said, yes, there are concentration camps and they're all over. He did say um, he's seen it at Fort Bliss, he's seen it at uh, Fort Campbell, and he's seen them pretty much, especially by uh, all the big cities. Um, he also told me, which was really interesting, up in Massachusetts when he was there, the military, some military personnel were bragging about their weather modification equipment they had there. And uh, I, I asked him, are you talking about HARP? And he said, yes. That up in Massachusetts, they also have a whole setup, a HARP setup for we weather modification. So that then, you know, you have to question, did they bring, you know, Hurricane Sandy or Superstorm Sandy or whatever they want to call it now um, into the New York area and so on. Um, so he also told me, I asked him, have you ever shipped drones or any kind of energy weapons? He said he will not ship those. His buddy said ship them, but he will not ship them. And he said, he's told his buddies, look, do you realize you're shipping these and they can be used against you? And I said, well, you know, I saw, a, I told him I saw a shipment of what I found out were electronic magnetic motors. Well, could they possibly have been energy weapons? And he said, yeah, absolutely. Um, and that, that there have been shipments that have been going to a lot of different places and being placed um, around the U.S., uh, various energy weapons. And he pointed over to a building and he said, you know, you see that building over there? There's an energy weapon that can take off the roof of that building. And he said it's actually, if it was at full, full power, he said um, it's, it's supposed to be non-lethal weapons but and to be used against people uh, to send the uh, electromagnetic waves, but it actually, if it was turned up high enough, it could kill the people. Um, if it was, yeah, people it was being used up against, used against. Um, he said, now I'm not giving you any kind of real information because I don't want him to lose his job, but he did say something very interesting to me. Uh, we talked for about an hour or a little more than that. Um, he said that in six months' time, the mili well, the military has told them in about six months' time, um, they're not going to need, they're not going to be doing any more shipments. Um, that they were pretty much, because of the sequester, they were winding down and they weren't going to have any more shipments uh, in six months. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish this on the second um, uh, video because I have uh, used up the 15 minutes of what I'm allowed. So, 
a little bit more. Um, so the um, military is saying they're not going to pretty much, he said, I'm pretty much going to be out of a job in six months because the military is saying um, uh, there's really not going to be any more shipping uh, in about six months' time. Um, so I find that interesting considering, you know, the military is going to stop shipping. Um, and so does that mean they'll have everything placed around the U.S. of what they need or they have to have everything placed by the six month time? Um, anyway, I think it was a great day yesterday. Um, regarding the bluegrass, Army Depot, which is what I highlighted on my other video um, with the DHS, this bluegrass, I asked him if that could possibly be a FEMA camp. Now, he's gone there and he's dropped off equipment and so on. He said no. It really is a, um, a, a, a depot. A, what, how did he say it? A, um, I have my different notes here. Um, equipment uh, Transportation Hub. That's what he called it, a transportation hub. Um, also, the DHS vehicles, he said, is being made, a part of them is being made at a VAE plant in Texas. Now, I looked up, I couldn't find a VAE plant. I found something with those names or uh, letters in China being built. So, um, he said one part's there and then it goes somewhere else for um, the finishing up. Um, and that the vehicles, by the way, the, the military vehicles are totally and completely tracked in almost every way you can imagine. That if you disconnect uh, the battery, they know about it. If you, if you turn the key, it's known about. So uh, I had a great day. I found out information and I found out, yeah, FEMA camps are real. It's first-hand viewing of them and first-hand information uh, about shipping. And if I get any more, I will let you know. This has been Sherry. Um, this is Sherry, a real fast note. Uh, these are pictures I took yesterday. This is in Sevierville, a uh, National Guard. And what was there? Not that, you know, these might be around, but uh, I caught these pictures of these uh, tanks up in the, uh, the fenced area. And uh, I just thought that was interesting that there were these big tanks there. So I just wanted to uh, point that out. All right. Thank you.